Hi friends this is one more video tutorial on make shopping cart by using PHP script, but here we will make shopping cart by using PHP cookies. We have already make video tutorial on how to make PHP shopping cart by using session, and in that tutorial we have stored shopping cart data in session variable. So if we have refresh page then shopping cart will not be lost and shopping cart data still display on web page. So here also we have make shopping cart and shopping cart data has been stored under cookies variable. So if page has been refresh accidentally but shopping cart data will not be lost. Because it has been stored under cookies variable, this cookies data has been stored at client side in browser and it will be lost on its defined time. For this here we have make this video tutorial so if anyone want to make shopping cart by using PHP cookies instead of PHP session variable. Now let's start discuss this topic, so this is our test database and in this we have one product table with table column like ID, name, image, price. In this table we have already inserted some product data, so we will fetch data from this table and display on web page for add item into shopping cart by using PHP. This is our index page and on this page first we want to make database connection so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new to class object. Under this we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to test, user name set to root and password set to blank. After this we want to display product on web page, so here we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from product table order by ID in ascending order. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, this make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query. After this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement with fetch all method, this will fetch query execution result and store under dollar result variable. Below this we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop first we have write HTML form tag with attribute method is equal to post. Under this form first we want to display product image. So here we have write image tag with attribute source is equal to images folder slash dollar row image variable, it will display product image on web page. Below this we want to display product name, so here we have write dollar row name variable. It will display particular product name below product image. After this we want to display product price, so here we have write dollar row price variable, it will display product price below product name. Now we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to quantity and value is equal to 1, under this text box user can enter number of product quantity for add to cart.
Below this we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to hidden name, value is equal to dollar row name variable, here we have store product name under hidden field. Same way for store product price we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to hidden price, value is equal to dollar row price variable. After this we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to hidden id, value is equal to dollar row id variable, here we have store particular product id value has been stored under hidden field. Lastly we want to define button for add item into cart, so we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to add to cart by click on this button we can add any item into shopping cart friends here we can see that when page has been load into browser then we can see some product on web with add to cart button so when we have click on this button particular item has been add into cart for add item into cart we have go to index page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write ESIT function with dollar post add to cart variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar item array variable is equal to array. In first item ID key value has been get from dollar post hidden ID variable, second item name key value has been get from dollar post hidden name variable. Third item price key value has been get from dollar post hidden price variable and fourth item quantity key value has been get from dollar post quantity variable. This way we have store form data into this dollar item array variable. After this we have write dollar cart data array variable is equal to dollar item array variable. Here we have store dollar item array data into this dollar cart data variable. Below this we have write dollar item data variable is equal to json and code function and under this we have write dollar cart data variable, this function will convert php array to json string. Now we have write set cookie function with three argument, in first argument we have write shopping cart which is name of this cookie, in second argument we have write dollar item data variable which is data which we have store under this shopping cart variable and third argument we have write time function plus 86400 into 30 which is equal to one day that means this cookies data will be expired after one day so this way we have stored shopping cart data into this cookie variable by using set cookie function. Below this we have write header function and under this we have write location set to index.php question mark success is equal to 1. So when we have add item into cart then page has been redirect to this page. Now here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar get success function. If this variable value is set then it will execute this block of code. Under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to bootstrap success alert and under message we have write item add into shopping cart. This message will be display after item add into cart. Now we want to display cart data on web page after item add into cart. So here first we have write echo statement with dollar message variable. After this we have create one table with five table column like item name, quantity, price, total, and action. 
After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar cookie shopping cart variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. But suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with HTML table code with text message like no item in cart. But suppose above condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar total variable is equal to zero. After this we have write dollar cookie data variable is equal to strip slashes function and under this we have write dollar cookie shopping cart variable, this function will removes backslashes. Below this we have write dollar cart data variable is equal to json decode function with dollar cookie data variable with true. This function will convert JSON string to PHP variable. Now we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar cart data variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable. Under this loop we want to first display item name. So we have write dollar values item name variable. After this we want to display number of quantity. So we have write echo statement with dollar values item quantity variable. Same way we want to display item price. So here we have write echo statement with dollar values item price variable. Now we want to display total of particular item, so we have write echo statement with number format function with dollar values item quantity variable into dollar values item price variable. Lastly we want to make link for remove particular item from cart, so we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to index.php question mark action is equal to delete and id is equal to dollar values item id variable. So this code will make dynamic remove item link for each item which has been added into cart and when we have click on this link then it will redirect page to this dynamic link and item will be removed. Below this we have write dollar total variable is equal to dollar total variable plus dollar values item quantity variable into dollar values item price variable. This code will make total of whole shopping cart. Lastly we want to display value of this dollar total variable so we have write echo statement with number format function dollar total variable, it will display value of whole shopping cart on web page. Friends first we have refresh page and now we have add one product into shopping cart, so we have click on particular item add to cart button. After click on button we have received success message like item has been added into cart and we can see our shopping cart details on web page. But no when we have add same item into cart then at that time we want increase particular item quantity into cart instead of whole item add into cart. For this we have go to index page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar cookie shopping cart variable.
If we have already item added into cart then it will execute if block of and under this block we have write dollar cookie data variable is equal to strip slashes function and under this we have write dollar cookie shopping cart variable, this function will removes backslashes. Below this we have write dollar cart data variable is equal to JSO and decode function with dollar cookie data variable with true. This function will convert JSO and string to PHP variable and store under dollar cart data variable. But suppose we have include first item into cart then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar cart data variable is equal to blank array. Now we want to get list of item ID which we have added into shopping cart. So we have write dollar item ID list variable is equal to array column function. Under this function we have write dollar cart data variable and item id key name, this function will return value of item id key from dollar cart data variable and store under item id list variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write in array function and under this function we have write dollar post hidden id variable and dollar item id list variable. If added item ID into cart has already been added into shopping cart then it will execute if block of code. That means we have already added into cart and again add same item into cart then it will execute if block of code. So now we want to only increase item quantity in cart not whole item again added into cart. For this we have write for each loop with dollar cart data variable as dollar key variable with dollar value variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar cart data variable with dollar key index with item id key value is equal to dollar post hidden id variable. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar cart data variable with dollar key index item quantity key value is plus and equal to dollar post quantity variable. This code will add dollar post quantity variable value into particular item quantity value of item. So here we have not add new item into cart but we have only change item quantity when we have add same item into cart. But suppose we have new item into cart then that code we have already made. So this code we have put under this else block of code. Now here friends first we have refresh page but cart data has not been lost and we can see shopping cart data here. Now we have add same item which we have already added into cart. So here we have again add same item which we have already added into cart. After clicking on add to cart button particular item quantity has been changed but not whole item added into cart. Now we have proceed for remove particular item from cart. So here when we have click on particular item remove button then page has been redirect to this URL. So we have go to index page and here we have write if statement and condition we have write is set function with dollar get action variable. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar get action variable value is equal to delete. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code.
After this we have write dollar cookie data variable is equal to strip slashes function and under this we have write dollar cookie shopping cart variable, this function will removes backslashes. Below this we have write dollar cart data variable is equal to JSO and decode function with dollar cookie data variable with true. This function will convert JSO and string to PHP variable. After this we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar cart data variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar cart data variable with dollar keys index item id key is equal to dollar get id variable, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write unset function and under this we have write dollar cart data variable with dollar keys index. This function will destroy this keys array. Now we want update array data in cookie variable, so here we have write dollar item data variable is equal to JSON and code function with dollar cart data variable. This function will convert update this variable array into JSON string. After this we have write set cookie function with three argument like cookie name shopping cart, cookie data get from dollar item data variable and cookie expire time, this function will update shopping cart cookie data. Below this we have write header function and under this we have write location set to index.php question mark remove is equal 1. Page has been redirect to this URL after item remove from cart. So here we have write if is set dollar get remove variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to bootstrap success alert and under message we have write item remove from cart. This message will be display after item remove from cart. Friends here we can see that some item has been added into cart now we want to remove this item from cart. So we have click on remove item remove button. After click on remove button we have remove item remove from cart message on web page and that item has been removed from cart and under cart we can see remaining item into cart. Now we want to remove all product from shopping cart in single click. So here on index page we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to index.php question mark action is equal to clear. So when we have click on this link page has been redirect to this URL. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar get action variable value is equal to clear. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write set cookie function with cookie name shopping cookie value set to blank and cookie expiry time. This code will expire shopping cart cookie variable with blank data, so our shopping cart all data will destroy and it will be clear, so this way we can clear shopping cart item by using PHP cookie variable. Below this we have write header function with location set to index.php question mark clear all is equal to 1. So page has been redirect to this URL after clear all item from shopping cart. Now here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar get clear all variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. 
Under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to bootstrap success alert code and under message we have write your shopping cart has been clear, this message will be display on web page after clear all item from shopping cart. Now friends first we have add some item into shopping cart, now we want to remove all item from shopping cart, so we have click on this clear all link. After click on this link we have remove success message like your shopping cart has been clear message on web page, so this way we can remove all item from shopping cart in single click. So in this video tutorial we have seen how can we add item into shopping cart and then after display that shopping cart details on web page in table format with complete calculation. After this we have seen if we have add same item into cart then at that time we have change particular item quantity into cart instead of whole item details add into cart. Then after we have seen how can we remove single item from shopping cart and lastly we have seen how to remove or how to clear shopping cart in single click. This all feature we have done by using PHP cookie variable instead of session variable, so if you want to learn how to make PHP shopping cart by using cookie then this tutorial will helpful. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.